What's going on, y'all? It's your um, boy D made for Mind Games Uncut. We are here to talk about your girl, Michelle Obama, said our folk didn't vote during the election. That's my trauma. So we're going to get into this thing after this small commercial break. Hello, everybody. This is Dominic Huff from Dominic Magazine. I am the founder and creator of a new magazine that's for black men, by black men, talking about our issues from the black man's point of view. You can learn more about us at www.dominatemag.com. That's www.d-o-m-i-n-i-q-u-e-m-a-g.com. Every Friday, you can check out content about business, life, news, commentary, community, find out who's making moves, and much more about black men. A space for us, by us. So you can also like our Facebook fan page at Dominate Mag. That's Dominate Magazine on Facebook. And we're also creating the Twitter account. Also check out our events page on our Facebook page and on our event bright. Again, this is Dominate Cuff for Dominate Magazine. For black men, by black men. Thank you for your support, and we look forward to seeing you on our pages. We are back. So listen, I want to let y'all listen to what, uh, well, it's not her voice, but it's uh, somebody else saying exactly what she said. So check this out. Michelle Obama says our folks didn't vote during the election. That's my trauma. Former First Lady Michelle Obama was upset at her fellow Democrats for not turning out at the polls during former President Barack Obama's presidency, media outlets reported. Obama, who is the subject of Becoming, a Netflix documentary about her book tour, said in the film that she understood the people who voted for Donald Trump but our folks who didn't vote was almost like a slap in the face. It takes some energy to go high, and we were exhausted from it. Because when you are the first black anything, she said, according to the Daily Beast. So the day I left the White House and I write about how painful it was to sit on that inauguration stage. A lot of our folks didn't vote. It was almost like a slap in the face. Obama was speaking to a group of black school children in 2016 in the clip, Referring to the 2016 presidential election, the New York Post reported, I understand the people who voted for Trump, she said. The people who didn't vote at all, the young people, the women, that's when you think, man, people think this is a game. It wasn't just in this election. Every midterm, every time Barack didn't get the Congress he needed, that was because our folks didn't show up. After all that work, they just couldn't be bothered to vote at all. That's my trauma. The youth voter turnout was lower in the 2010 and 2014 midterm elections than during the 2008 and 2012 general elections. Of those under age 30, 66% voted for Obama in 2008, according to the Pew Research Center. During the 2010 midterm election, young people said they supported Obama but only 20.9% voted. The nation reported, citing data from the Center for Information and Research on Civic Learning and Engagement. During the 2012 election, voters between ages 18 and 29 comprised 19% of the electorate, according to CBS News. During the 2014 midterms, they made up 13% of voters, meaning 14 million fewer young voters turned out to the polls. Less black voters also voted in the 2016 presidential election than in 2012. The black voter turnout also decreased for the first time in decades, falling to 59.6% in 2016 after reaching 66.6% in 2012 according to the Pew Research Center. More than 4 million people who voted for Obama in 2012 didn't turn out to the polls in 2016, according to the New York Times. Next article. Just a quick word from ours. All right, so y'all heard that? Um, <clears throat> I mean, y'all, y'all should be able to hear it. So yeah, I mean, I was just kind of listening, trying to analyze it, but uh, <sighs> I mean, this is the thing, man. Okay, like I said before, the first term, I ain't expect too much from Obama. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Because I know how racist our government is and always going to be. You know, pre- pretty much they gave him the election. They gave him the seat anyway to kind of, to me, me personally, to keep black people quiet. Because at that time, black people was kind of, you know, we, we was kind of, we, we was we was starting to talk. We was, st- people starting to hear us, you know what I'm saying? We were asking for demands, but then when they put him in office... Okay, the first term I gave him a pass. Second term, I'm like, come on, brother. I mean, and then when I found out he was against reparations, that was pretty much I like, well, that's what we need. We need some form of tangible. You know what I'm saying? We didn't get nothing out the deal. See, this is the thing. I'm not calling him a bad guy. I'm just saying you did something for everybody, man. I'm talking about individually, like groups. I ain't talking about as a whole as a country. I'm talking about 
You did something for the Indians. I did a video on that. You did something for the gays, the LGBTQ, whatever they want to call themselves. You did stuff for the women. And stuff. Like I said, if they came with a check, of course you better take care of them. The only problem I got with black people, we didn't come with a bag, we didn't come with a check. But that's beside the point. You a black man, got a black wife, got black kids. You know, I mean, you know you didn't grow up amongst black people, but you know our condition. I'm not saying just give us stuff. We just want it most owed to us. And that's reparation. Then your wife sit up here and tell she's disappointed. You know what I'm saying? In the black vote. Black people just tired. They like, because we're getting the same results every time. Every time we, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, somebody made a good point the other night. They were saying it's only 13% blacks, percentage wise. I think only, what, 30 million of us? A little bit more. Our vote, every black person is not going to vote Democrat. See, that's the problem. Every black person is not Democrat. They say most black people are conservative mentally. You know what I'm saying? So every black person is not going to vote the Democrat. A lot, of black people, a lot of black people don't believe in the liberal ways. You know what I'm saying? So that right there is, you know, but you got to understand. You got to give us something. Like, you got to promise something like, okay, this is what I'm going to do for y'all. But see, the thing is about our people, Obama, a lot of our politicians, they're scared to really speak to what's on their mind when it comes to black issues you know what i'm saying and that's just the problem a lot of black folks don't want to hear it. it is what it is it's the it's facts a lot of our black people are still scared of their masters you know what i'm saying they, they they don't want to lose their certain they don't want to lose their pensions they don't want to lose certain benefits you feel me you know and you know yeah obama had his dark skin sister beautiful woman beautiful kids you know what i'm saying but they don't mean nothing for a lot of us we like look we're looking at the big picture we need tangibles you know what i'm saying you need to push you said you was against reparation, brother. So that right there turned a lot of black people away. It is what it is. It's just the facts, man. And you're gonna a lot, a lot of black people are gonna be turned away this year. Actually, it's probably gonna be worse. Cause I'm telling you, it's most of them old heads trying to push people to go vote, vote for somebody who's not gonna give nothing for us. You know what I'm saying? It just it's, it's, it is what it is, y'all. Like I said, I survived through all the so-called worst presidents, the two Bushes, and then you got Trump. I mean. At the end of the day, you got to give up. You got to give something, man. I mean, I'm sorry, Michelle. I'm sorry, sister, but uh, you're wrong this time. I see our sister Vicky Dillard went in on her. Y'all need to check that one out on YouTube. Vicky Dillard on YouTube or her podcast. Oh, man, that sister went in. She did it in, she did it in a classic way, but like, she was heated. You know what I'm saying? It's sisters checking Michelle. All sisters don't like Michelle Obama, and I'm not trying to get black women to go against her. I'm just saying but all sisters are not for her you know what i'm saying because they understand what they the family what their family could have did for us you know what i'm saying so that being said y'all you know make sure y'all like make sure y'all subscribe make sure y'all share and make sure y'all share this again and like i said we're not throwing shade on obama we just we just calling out what they could have did and what they didn't do and now you know we back where we always started black people even when even when they was in the office black kids were still getting murdered black women still getting murdered black men were still getting murdered so what have changed black people still getting murdered you know what i'm saying so there's nothing new out here black people still at the bottom they come to economics you know what i'm saying so black families still disconnected i mean it's a lot going on nothing changed i mean it's be real nothing changed you know so i understand i understand he's supposed to be doing all that for us because we got to step up we got to step up we got to step up to the plate ourselves as men and take care of our kids but i'm just saying you know, we thought he was going to change a lot of things, which I didn't think that personally. But I just know, you know, that he had he could have signed certain executive orders and make things move for us. But, you know, certain things he did do, but not enough. And that's the argument amongst most young black people and the new black media. And that being said, peace. I'm out.